Hello. I'm going to talk about the office of the presidency, an office of killers, clowns, and crooks. You know what? That's all, that is all we ever elect are killers, clowns, and crooks for the most part. I remember when I was in the sixth grade and we had to do a project uh, where we had to learn about the United States government. And we had to talk about the people that occupied the office. Well, and I put the word statesman on just about all of them. Now, I use that word statesman, but see, we don't elect state, statesmen to the presidency. I haven't seen one in a while. The people we elect have no moral compass, no moral values. They're not too smart, for the most part. Not all of them, a great deal of them. They don't have any moral values. Um, and they're crooks. Bill Clinton was a crook. He's a killer. He's promiscuous. He has no moral values. And he's a liar. His wife, Hillary, is also a killer, a crook, and a liar. She just hasn't been prosecuted yet. She's been able to escape prosecution. Why do we elect people like that? Why do we nominate people like that? Nixon was a crook. You know, the problem is that we, who are American citizens, do not make any demands on these candidates. We do not demand that the president or the vice president have any moral values. We don't demand that they have be truthful in their finances. We don't make any demands from the, for the presidency or the vice presidency. Okay? Now, I'm not talking to everybody. I'm talking to American citizens. The only true American citizens are the American Indians. Blacks and whites are immigrants. I can trace my lineage back to before the Civil War. I'm not talking to these cheaters. I'm not talking to illegals. If you're illegal, you have no stake in this country. Uh, you, you know, you're not a citizen of this country. I'm not talking to immigrants from other countries who just come to America to work and suck up the resources. You have no stake in this election. You have no stake in this country. I'm not talking to people who cheat on citizenship. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to people who are rooted in this country, who can trace their lineage at least back to the Civil War. You know, the other problem is that no decent man or woman wants the job. No decent person wants a job. No person with any kind of moral values wants a job. So what happens if no decent person wants a job, it goes automatically by default to killers, crooks, and clowns. Now, Trump is a clown, plus he's a, a liar. I mean, he lies about, they have said he has told 20,000 lies so far. He lies about everything and anything. The pandemic is the most catastrophic thing one of the most catastrophic things this country has ever faced. He lied about that, that there even was a pandemic. And we got to do better. We got to start making more demands on these people, these people who want nomination, want to be nominated for the presidency and the vice presidency. We need to start making demands on them. It is our fault because we're not making any demands on them. We need to stop letting these killers, crooks, and clowns into this office. Bye.